It is super snowy out today. Honestly, I really love snow. Like, we went for a walk earlier, me and my dad and my dog, and it was super slippery out, but the snow was falling just like this, and it was like walking through a snow globe. It was so pretty. Hello lovely friends, welcome to my third ever studio vlog for Starjoy Studio. Today is December 30th, I believe, and it is Wednesday. COVID has made me completely lose track of time. And I am not up to much in the studio today. I have a few stickers to finish cutting that I started printing in my very first studio vlog, so I'm a little behind on that. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't have any orders today or any packing to do, so we're just gonna work on that and get right started. Get right into it. Get started. Oh, run. So you can see here, I have a big stack of seconds. These are stickers that aren't up to snuff. Like some of them I made mistakes with just the trimming and I cut off the edge too far so the edge of the stickers is trimmed off. Some of them have cutting errors like this one. You can see. Zephyr, I'm trying to show you Zephyr. Zephyr. You see Zephyr there, cut an inside of the letter a little bit. Um, some of these are just crooked. See the cut lines are off. Um, this one, I had to cut the sheet multiple times because I repositioned it on the mat, so some of the stickers got cut right out. This one was just a cutting error. So all kinds of issues like that. And I don't like to waste these, so instead of getting rid of them, I just sell them in bundles. It's called the Boops Bundles. So you get a big batch of these for pretty cheap. And like you can see on them, there's lots of good stickers that have nothing wrong with them or just slightly off, um, but they're still usable, so I like to sell those. Bad news guys, there is a spider in my studio. See that little dot on the wall? Look at him. He's just chilling. He's like, this is nice and warm. I'll stay here. And now, I don't know what to do, because I don't want to kill him, because I don't like killing bugs. But it's not like I can release him outside, because it's winter. And he's a spider, and he's terrifying. He's also really high up, so I could just leave him there and pretend I didn't notice him. But then, in the back of my head all day, I'll be like, there's a spider in my studio. He's going to eat me. He's going to crawl into my bed at night take a bite out of my thumb, lay some eggs in the wound, and then crawl away. This is terrible. Honestly, I'm probably gonna leave him there. Or get the vacuum. Honestly, I don't know. Should I just name him Steve? Just learn to live with him?
the first time basically since Christmas holidays started. Okay, I just went ahead and took a whole whack of photos for Instagram product photos because why would I do that when the sun is out and there's good lighting instead of doing it when it's practically dark out and the lighting is just terrible. I just took a bunch of cute photos. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing in Lightroom after and they're probably not gonna look very good because I decided to do it in terrible lighting. Also, update on Steve. He is now moving across the wall and down towards the floor, which is not, I will say, a good sign. Because I don't want him on my floor. Hi Steve, where are you going? And it's been like half an hour and I still haven't decided what to do about him. I'm probably going to have to vacuum him up because he is terrifying. I know he is a good creature with no ill intent, but look at those legs! Look at them! They're so spindly! Ugh. Ugh. Steve, you disgust me. I'm sorry. I know you can't help it. Once when I was like... I think I was like five or six, um, I started crying because I found a spider in the bathtub when I opened the shower curtain and my brother came to save me and stop me from crying so he flushed the spider down the drain and then I started crying more because he'd killed the spider. <laughs> so it's one of those lose-lose situations, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I think I got it gotta do something about this. He's creeping me out. Panic set in and I murdered Steve. A moment of silence for Steve. Good morning. It is December 31st, New Year's Eve, and it's like 2.30? Yes, it is 2.30 in the afternoon. I've been up since like 10.30 and I haven't done too much today. Um, I did send one order off. It was an order from way beginning of December that was unfortunately lost in the mail. So I had to replace it. Um, so I sent that off this morning and I really hope it gets there safely this time. It's an in Canada order so it shouldn't have any problems. but really hope it's okay this time. I threw in some extra stickers for the customer. She's also repeat customer, so I feel really bad that it didn't get there and uh, it had some seasonal items in it, which is just a mess. So fortunately, you know, that's off in the mail. It should be there within a week or two, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, other than that, I have a rep package to get out today that I was supposed to do like two weeks ago and completely forgot about in the Christmas rush. I just got totally discombobulated, forgot all about it. Um, I have to show you my t-shirt because this is the shirt my brother got me for Christmas and it's amazing. It's got a Star Trek quote from Janeway, fear exists for one purpose conquered. It's awesome. I'm a huge Trekkie, so I love it. And it's purple, which is my favorite color, so it's just the best shirt ever. And I finished this guy this morning. I love him so much. It's by, um, it's a Draw This In Your Style Challenge by Sam's List. I'll show you. It's the original. So cute. I love all the details and the little stars and the character work. Oh, it's so good. The colors, adorable. I love that piece. So that's by Sam's Illust, S-A-M-S-I-L-L-U-S-T on Instagram. And I just love these little characters and I'm so happy with how it turned out. This is kind of my most detailed gouache painting that I've done so far because I'm still pretty beginner to gouache 
and I love it. This is the Arteza gouaches and they're working amazing for me. So much better than the ones I had before and so affordable and I just love it. It's so cute. Didn't turn out perfect, of course, but you know, you gotta experiment. I don't have a lot of experience with backgrounds, especially painting by hand, like traditional versus digital, because I'm bad at layering and digital, you can just layer things behind whenever you want, but for this, you know, you have to actually think about it and plan it beforehand, which I did not do well at all, but I kind of made it work. There's some mistakes that I would have liked to change, but you know, it is what it is in the end. And I think it's super cute and I'm kind of proud of it even though it's messy and got lots of mistakes. It's a big step forward for me, um, pushing my style, pushing my, um, my content and my subject matter and just the kind of illustrations I do. So I'm really loving gouache, I'm really loving doing the draw this in your style challenges. I think they're really great for me to expand my artistic repertoire, if that makes any sense. Plus it gives me a good challenge to, you know, mimic someone else's art style and be able to take on the characteristics of that that I love and incorporate those into my own practice. So I'm super happy with how this turned out and with the whole experience of making it. It was so fun to work on. I love the colors. It's so bright, it's so fun and cute. And it's not something that I would have made myself if I hadn't been inspired by the Draw This In Your Style challenge. So I'm really grateful to Sans the List for posting this challenge and I'm super happy. This is our last day for vlog number three, so we're gonna say adieu. Thank you so much for watching. You are a lovely human, and I mean that. Like, if you've watched this all the way to the end, that means so much to me. You know, making these studio vlogs, it does feel a bit like screaming into a void. Um, so any. Any comments or anything are really appreciated and I just so appreciate everyone's support in everything that I've done artistically. My friends and family and strangers on the internet and other shop owners, people who have just been so supportive. I'm so grateful for that. So, you know, the little things that you do can really make a difference in someone's life and in someone's day. So. I'm going to stop rambling now, I'm going to say good night, and I hope that you have a lovely rest of the day, um, and yeah, um, 